This week on Sailing Catalpa, we explore the beautiful island of Bali in Indonesia and meet up with some friends we haven't seen in a while. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Wandering down to the Git Git waterfalls that are located not too far from Lavina. And our first stop on our way to Kuda. I'm lost and lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm going in! That was Sally! The Git Git waterfalls are 35 metres high. Until my soul awakens, will you search for waterfalls like the ocean make me feel amazing, and this stunning place sure put a smile on all our faces. And gave me goosebumps because it was so cold. <laughs> Our next stop was a Pura Alan Danu Bharatan Temple, or the Water Temples. The temple was built in the 17th century in worship of the main Hindu trinity, Brahma Vishnu Shiva, as well as a lake goddess. The temple complex is located on the shores of Lake Bratan. It is a pretty interesting place to visit and has some pretty sweet artwork that lines some beautiful gardens and a great place to practice handstand walking competitions. Pretty sure I won. Don't go fast, that's fast enough. Whoa, stop that, it's gonna break. Okay, it didn't break and it was actually pretty fun. So we just arrived at an art shop in Kuda that Charles has been looking forward to see Googled what's in Bali. As most of you know, Taj has some mad skills in the art department and this place is like a dream for him. The first art shop he has been in about a year. Taj had a few jobs since we've been travelling and he's saved his money until he's got to this place. So he's, he's very excited. So we've arrived in the crazy busy part of Bali, Legian, where we will stay for the next couple of nights with our friends from Australia. We're actually staying here. She's a bit excited. This group. We checked in and went to see our room.
it's nice and cool. There's the excited kids there. And we're in here. This is our room, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness! I told him boat bed was big. What? <laughs> We've been here about 10 minutes. What's that beeping noise? I don't know, I found it in the cupboard. <laughs> There's a bomb. Someone, I won't mention who. Must have been the kids playing with the, you know, the safety box. Started playing with the safety box and now it won't stop beeping. <laughs> I had five bucks to put in there, but. You better call the guy. Then off to check out the busy beach in Kuta. Our beach visit turned into some drinks by the beach. Been a while. Oh, I just stubbed that up my nose. <laughs> then dinner, then some more drinks. And would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hear me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn dancing the night away with our good friends. The next few days we have a super rad time and get to have a buffet breakfast every morning. That was the highlight for me. Come on. <laughs> Yay. Good morning everyone. Lots of pool hangs and mum and dad hooning around Cooter. Afternoon spent at the beach, parents drinking bing tangs while the kids play. So what's going on here this evening? <laughs> well, Kat's trusting me. <laughs> Decided to, take to cut her finger. Out her stitches <laughs> because we're professionals and all. But we have holy water to help us. Yeah, you she bring some special holy water over, so luckily I had some of that before we do this. Came in over this, so good luck. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> How going? <laughs> Just the cuties. Hi guys. <laughs> Oh, well, that is a weird ass feeling. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Yeah. Oh, go. <laughs> oh, 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 that's like feeling <laughs> better to a baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. Dr. Sarah in the house. Dr. Sarah, Dr. Sarah. Dr. Sarah, Dr. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're at Mexican tonight and the kids are doing a uh, we're not rolling you all <laughs> taco challenge. They gotta eat these tacos in 30 minutes and they get free dessert. Woo! Woo! Fun time with our friends here and uh, we're glad we came. We didn't do much but we've just been living it up like like we're on holidays. Bye. So see your friends. Bye. See you in the village. Yeah, have a great trip. Well, that's a big ah, one. That was a big one. Thank <laughs> you. Have you? We got some new surfboard bags as ours had deteriorated badly in the sun. Uh, we got additional luggage. Uh, On our way back to Lavina, and we stopped at, yep, you guessed it, more waterfalls. Oh, you wanna walk with me? The busy highway, there's a place you see. I go there to get away from the tug of war. All oh, the everyday troubles and stuff. The waterfalls here in Bali have been incredible, and we could spend all day hanging out here under the cool waters falling in amongst the lushest of rainforests. Sometimes you gotta slow down and jump in the puddles. Gotta, gotta get, gotta get my feet wet. Wanna look up 
tired of looking back. Keep my head still, keep my keep my heart still so high. This is us getting our family selfie in front of the waterfall. Check out the guy behind us. What a classic photo bomb, Mr. Muscles. This place was stunning and hard to leave. Maybe I'll see things I've never Bali is home to so many spectacular rice paddy fields and we had to stop and show you these. Hold this moment in my hands Like a hundred million tiny grains of sand I can't let them slip away Way too fast Gotta see the beauty in every single people So we're just heading to the hot springs in Bali Time to relax and just uh, soak up the hot springs for half hour or so What do you reckon, Tash? Yeah I can't see you this is way better than going to that street. We're at the hot springs in Indo, Bali, and uh, looks really cool. The holy hot springs, guys. Some more Instagram pics in the making. Alright, so uh, the hot springs were a bit yucky. They smell like pee. Smell like weak. Back to Kitsialpa. Back to our humble home for the night to organise our visas. So today our plan was uh, to go up to Catendel's village, which is in Tayanya, which is like an hour and a half from Lavina where we're staying um, in our boat. And yeah, we messaged this morning. We're like, our plan was to go to immigration at eight when they open, drop in our paperwork and get all that done, and then head up to Tayanya and go to a ceremony that was on. Um, but <laughs> this morning didn't pan out that way. We had to wait for our sponsor letter to come through. Uh, I emailed him a couple of days ago and then he said he'd do it last night and then it wasn't there this morning so we had to wait a couple hours this morning extra for that to come through an email. Um, then we went ashore which took longer because we're just slow. <laughs> we went ashore and we couldn't find a driver. It was all a little too much but we went and had some food, took a few breaths and uh, went, well actually Lee went to immigration before that and they were closed for lunch so. Yeah, anyway, long story short, that was a long story. We have hired a car, and we are in the car, and Lee is driving to Tayanya, which is like an hour and a half away, and he's doing really well. There's no way in hell I would be driving over here. Oh, trucks. <laughs> he's gonna dodge bikes, trucks. Pretty sure he went through a red light because we are in the wrong lane, and we had to just pull over, and he kept going. <laughs> but we are, uh, he's, he's doing really well. So we're on our way. Yeah, it was feeling we didn't get to the ceremony, but we will still get up there and show you guys a village where our friends have a house and where they live. Um, part of the year, because they live in Australia, but this is uh, Jell's home village. And yeah, it's pretty nice. We're cruising along the ocean road. Ocean views, palm trees. It's real good and we figured we can use the car to like stock up and stuff and get some things we needed which we didn't think of actually renting a car we've been using like drivers but they were just being really difficult this morning <laughs> wanting lots of money from us so this is how it panned out and it's panned out for the best I guess it always works out you just gotta go with your gut trust your instincts look at the ocean take a deep if you're liking the content you see smash that like button and subscribe down below and um, enjoy. To see more of us and where we are and what we do, you can head over to Instagram and Facebook at Sailing Catalpa. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Oh, thanks to y'all.
Up next on Sailing Catalpa, we visit our friend's village and Lee experiences a traditional Balinese drink. Tuak. Tuak. Yeah. With the sour up. Sour up, open it. Ah, see how it is. Coconut. That's how we drink it. Bottoms up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>